All right, so we got this little uh, garden utility cart here. You can see the wheel here is flat, and uh, they come with two tires. So we're going to get the uh, uh, tubeless tires on there uh, that don't go flat uh, because this is a it's a really nice little uh, handy cart to have, but every time we use it we got to put air in the tires um, and so it's just uh, makes it to where it's a pain in the butt to use because of the tires so we're going to fix the tires and then we can get uh, our full utility out of our utility wagon and we're going to show you how to replace those tires all right so you're going to see in the middle of this tire we've got a cotter pin and we need to straighten that out You're setting the done because the axle goes all the way through on this and it's rotating because I want to try to pull on it, but it can be done. All right, so I'm going to put some vice grips on here that'll hold that axle while I try to straighten out this cotter pin a little bit. Cotter pins are a wonderful thing until they're not. There we go, it's, it's going now. All right, Get that cotter pin out, It'll be a washer. This whole wheel should just slide right off. And then uh, just gonna slide the new one on there. All right, so we got our, uh, our solid tires in and uh, we were able to match these up pretty good. Same height, you can see basically the same, same width. Alright, that axle moves back and forth all the way through there, so uh, I had to push it this way a little bit, put the cotter pin back in, and then hopefully there'll be enough axle on the other side for the other wheel. I'm going to leave that loose so I get this other one on and make sure it fits. So this is all the axle I got left, hopefully it's, uh, it's enough, and it is not. Man, all right, so we had a hard enough time finding the right size wheel here. I don't think we're going to find an exact match. So what that means is I need to find me a longer axle. So we'll probably have to go to the hardware store, buy some stock, and make one. But I need to figure out how much longer it needs to be. It needs to be about that much longer. So we're going to take this off and just get one that's about two inches longer than this and that should be enough. All right so uh, we got some 5 8 inch stock here and uh, remember we needed this to be an inch or two longer and uh, we got an extra foot or so which is good and uh, so the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to drill a hole in the end of this stock and then we'll fit it through, make sure both wheels are on and come up with a, a line to cut this at and then uh, drill a hole in the other end for the cotter pin and we should be done. And uh, I, I looked for this stock at Lowe's, they didn't have any this big uh, and we went to our local a tractor supply store and uh, they had plenty of stock this big and even bigger actually so uh, and then that piece there uh, ended up costing me twenty dollars and eighty four cents I think after tax uh, but I got a four foot long piece and so uh, we'll keep that extra extra foot uh, for another project It's going to take a long time with this drill bit. Alright, got the right type drill bit here. It's going much better. Easy peasy.
Yeah, I'm gonna spray this down with some WD-40 before I try to put it back in here again. It's kind of tight. Let's have to get a hammer. All right, so I just got me a brand new hammer. I'm gonna use it here before it's uh, before all the hammering's all worn out. Should work pretty good. Look at that. All right, we still got these two washers to put on here. Uh, one's gonna go in. One's gonna go on this side, and uh, I've left a little bit of gap there. And then one's gonna go in here. I've left a little bit of gap. We're gonna put the tire on over there. Again, allow for the gap for these washers, and mark it and drill it. All right, so I put my washers on there. I marked where I want to drill that hole. And then I also marked where I want to cut it. Um, probably drill that hole a little bit on the inside of that dot, but you get the idea. I bet taking those edges off will make this axle go through that uh, through the hole a lot better. All right, so there we go, our cart's back in business.